Good day folks. Today on the bench I'm going to tie you up a new little fly that I was just told about here just a few days ago and I thought I'd tie it up and share it with you. It is a, a little miniature booby. Um, I was down at Kelly Latch's store, the St. Mary Angler in Cranbrook the other day and and uh, one of his guides, Brandon, was in there and asked if I ever fished a real miniature little booby, which I never have, and he said uh, he started. Uh, there was a fellow beside him last last year fishing real tiny little boobies, and they were outperforming the other ones big time. So I'm going to go over the materials we need to tie this fly. Uh, first of all, I'm going to use, I like using these uh, SC, these are saltwater. Gamagatsu hooks, they're a, guide, a nice wide gape. It's a size 6. They're tin plated. Uh, they're very light, so they're, they work great for these boobies. The eyes, we're going to use some Rainey's float foam and small and white. The tail, I'm going to use some um, crystal flash. This is a UV pearl crystal flash, makes nice tailing material on the booby nymph. And then also, I picked up all these materials at the uh, St. Mary Angler too. They got a great store in there. If you guys are going by there, stop in. Uh, so I got some fly box uh, two-tone sunburst here for the front and also competition sunburst for the rear. It's all Gelcor Fritz. And they bring that in from another supplier. So you're going to be finding sometimes these nice little shops you have uh, around the country stock some really uh, unique items too. So. Make sure you stop and support these guys. They really need your support and it's nice to see them small shops really help you. And I'm going to use some fire orange uh, thread. Okay, so we'll get a, one of our little hooks in here. You can see it's a very fine fine wired hook. It's sharp. Uh, don't, it'll, it's strong. Don't be afraid that it won't hold any of the fish you're going to be tagging. We've caught, caught pretty nice saltwater fish on these little little hooks and they've held this fine. Nice and light. So come in here, we're going to get our um, crystal flash, UV pearl flash right at the bend here. Tie nice and short. It displays out good. Does a really good job on that. And we'll come in here with our competition sunburst at the rear. Of course, this is oversized. They do make smaller uh, fritz miniature for these, but I'm just going to trim it down. I don't need to buy more. I didn't have any in stock, so I had bought this. I'm going to use it on the larger uh, booby nymphs and. Also, uh, I can just trim this down. Make do with what we have sometimes. Get your snail back. Looks good. I'll come in here with the orange in the front. This is one of the premier colors you're going to want to fish for boobies. Well, different areas, I suppose. There's different colorations. You might want to try three or four different color combinations and many good sources on the internet now too for so I'm going to tie this a uh, couple turns up the front make sure it's all tied down good gel core is really nice to handle too I'll tie this back then I'm going to taper this I'm going to cut this at a Pretty good taper here when I trim it down on it. Nice and tapered. Sometimes when they just fish go off, just change your size and that's gets it done. We've seen that more times than not. So you can you can trim on this a little more if you like. I'm going to uh, come in here with just a little cross piece of my Rainey's foam. 
I need to cut it a little bigger than I need. I'm going to trim that off when I'm done too. I get that basically in the middle. Get my thread in there on one side. Pull it back. I'm underneath the front. And then I can get my 6 aught orange thread, fire orange. Get a few turns in the front. Get some head cement on there. That'll bind that on really well. Just trim that off. Okay, then I'll just straighten all my eyes out, get them about equal. See anything else sticking out of the way here I don't like? I'll trim it off as I go. The thing I do with my uh, booby nymphs too, I'll just add a little. I'm going to trick them out a little bit. I've got to tell you, I'm going to be using some Mirage eyes. You get different colors than that, but these Mirage, they blend with whatever colors next to them. And uh, so I'm just going to peel these off. These are just little stick on eyes. And they actually stick pretty good on this foam. I've, I've, I've fished them just like that without cement. You can also put a little um, resin on top if you want. A little UV light on there. Cook them on if you feel a little, they'll last a little longer. And that uh, the little mirage eyes, I'll tell you, in the water, you can that that throws. You see that a long, long ways. And uh, no, I can see this being a really good little fly. So, I'd like to thank uh, to Brandon and uh, Kelly down there for their help. When I went in the shop the other day and mentioned that to me and looking forward to fishing these. I know uh, when I'm getting advice from those guys I'm, I'm getting the real deal and uh, it's always nice to stop into these stores and they'll help you out but always, I can't stress enough, pick up something, always support them, don't just go in there for free information. A lot of good shops up and down the country and uh, we uh, we need their they need our support. Okay, thanks a lot for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, hope to catch you on the water. See you next time on the bench.